Okay, uh, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Miro Blaško. I will present uh, some insight uh, for tools uh, to to power uh, academic research. So this is this is topic of my presentation. Uh, there are three main um, points that I I will mention first. I will try to. Uh, brainstorm ideas how to uh, how to en enhance research uh, second I, I i select uh, some tools and uh, demonstrate how they works and then i finalize it and um, uh, try to define some some uh, open questions or future works that i uh, want to do in this topic so first is uh, to brainstorm the ideas. Uh, I uh, proposed this classification of tools that could help uh, help the research. Uh, first uh, category is research discovery tools. So so tools can uh, help us uh, discover uh, papers or or relevant material for research. Then content summarization and, and, and extract, extraction tools. Uh, then systematic uh, liter literature review and organi organization tools. So something that will help us to, to do the complete review and something that stores references, for example. Uh, then tools for collaborating with other people. And uh, the last um, category that I created is uh, content generation and refinement, uh, refinement tool, tools. That means creating the content or uh, finding the issue within existing content and refine it. So I go over all those categories and um, point some tools. I didn't um, mean to be somehow uh, very precise in this. I rather wanted to declare those uh, categories uh, and I didn't go inside of those categories too much. Uh, so <clears throat> for the research discovery tools, uh, there are um, many tools that have advanced search capabilities. So for example, Semantic Scholar, uh, then consensus which also provides quite extensive coverage with respect to search engines it uses uh, and advanced filtering then uh, there are tools for citation uh, analysis uh, to for example show uh, yeah uh, site ai is a tool where you can define a, a your uh claim uh, what you think is true or and you want to find out if it's true and it will uh, it will give you list of supporting and contrasting uh references it counts and it somehow summarize how much uh, it supports uh, your your um fact or whatever you you proposed uh, then there is a citation graph visualization within semantic scholar they there are a lot of tools for this citation graph visualization uh, research rabbit which we will uh, show more it, it even visualizes nicely connection between papers and authors uh, Elicit is a tool that uh, that uh, where you basically build up your knowledge and your interest, and based based on this interest, it will give you some suggestions. Uh, so this category is research discovery tools. Uh, I'm showing only one of them, uh, Site AI, which is um, a browser plugin which can add you those icons as you can see here uh, so for example here you claim that uh, social media should be used in class uh, and there are uh, supporting uh, contradicting uh, any references i think 
and this is uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure uh, I have to look sorry uh, so citation that support refute and only mention Then the another category, another interesting category is content summarization and extraction tools. Uh, for summarization, uh, you can upload PDF to tool chat, uh, chat PD, uh, PDF, and it will summarize. And uh, you can even ask questions about the content of the of the uploaded document. Uh, Consensus provides you some structured way of uh, of browsing the the paper and uh, somehow uh, in 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 better way with your visualization visualizing summary. Uh, this is example of chat PD, uh, PDF. Uh, we will try it in demo. Then literature overview and uh, organization tools. Uh, so there is a tool elicit for systematic review assistance. Uh, and then there are some reference management tools uh, which use AI to help you manage it somehow like Zotero. I'm not sure now about this uh, Mendeley if it has some AI features. Uh, <clears throat> Then there is a category of collaboration and networking tools. Uh, again, here are some collaborative features. You can share your collaboration on, you can share uh, your research with, with other people. Uh, here in uh, Research Rabbit, you can uh, even have a notification or, uh, on your uh, email about new public publications in areas of your interest. Uh, the last category is content generation tools. Uh, so, so you can either generate ideas or generate uh, outline of your paper, uh, or there is a, a real time suggestion while you are writing, uh, which helps you uh, write consistently uh, find some uh, find some logical errors or stuff like this. Uh, yes. So multiple tools uh, are used to not only generate content but refine the content, as can be see here. Oh uh, yeah, sure. So that's that's all. Just just the ideas ideas where uh, the tools uh, can be used. Uh, and now I would like to uh, switch to uh, some, it, well, one more thing. Uh, this is an uh, example of uh, Jenny AI, which allows you to generate outline. Uh, you write some, some ideas and it, it uh, helps you to define it some uh, in clear way, and uh, then you can click to outline builder, and it builds the outline for you, and uh, you can right away start writing the paper. Uh, okay, so th th that's that's all for this generic overview. The main goal for this was just to build some kind of classification of all possible topics. Uh, where we can search for uh, for the tools, uh, and now I I selected uh, two tools uh, that could help us to to do the research, and they are free. So uh, it it's uh, I thought that it would be nice to to demonstrate. So first of them that I uh, tr that I want to show is Research Rabbit. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it gives you personalized recommendations. Recommendations. Uh, there are a lot of uh, interactive visualizations uh, where you can. They say that you can jump from one rabbit hole to another. You just discover from 
from uh, some set of papers, new set of papers, and you just jump, jump, jump until you are satisfied. Uh, and it keeps track of your jumps. Uh, there is, uh, it is possible to collaborate on collections of papers. Is it, po it is possible to uh, get some new papers based on your interest? It has uh, integration with uh, reference manager and it is free and they say it will always be free. Uh, uh, this is main model of how to organize your papers. Uh, basically, you have papers which can have multiple comments uh, and paper is organized in uh, um, zero to many collections and uh, collection, every collection is uh, in one category. Uh, so category collections, papers and comments. Uh, then also ordering works there, uh, but only within a uh, collection of papers within category and comments within the paper and nothing else can be can be uh, ordered. Uh, this is how it looks like and let's switch to the demo. So Okay, this is how uh, Research Rabbit looks like. Uh, I was playing with it a little bit, so you can see what I've uh, what I did. Uh, you have collections of papers. You have categories like here. I have category of foundational ontology, and uh, I have collection of papers ontology development comparisons. Uh, alignments uh, so and I have uh, category UFO with core papers collection uh, then I have uncategorized uh, collections uh, and now I would like to play with it a little bit and, and make it uh, nicer uh, here I selected some KBSS papers and some terminology management papers, but let's uh, make a, a category uh, for KBSS papers. Uh, I will do it like this. And I will try to uh, make different collections, uh, different collections within this KBSS so it would be somehow meaningful. By showing that, uh, I will show you basically how this works. So we have here KBSS papers uh, that I selected previously. Uh, and you can explore people. Well, maybe first I'll, I'll show you that uh, you can show abstracts of this list of papers. You can show comments. Comments are just like this. You can add, add uh, multiple comments. You, I, I'm not sure if you can even move with them. Probably not. But uh, yeah, this way you can order it. But it's not very powerful. Uh, to me, it would be nice if there are tags, like uh, work in progress or something that you could, you could tag take the papers somehow. Uh, so this is not very useful, those comments, but uh, for some cases, of course, but tagging would be nicer, but there is no support for tagging. Uh, so you can show the comments here. You can show abstract. Uh, I will add new com new comment <laughs> like this. Uh, there is no ordering of papers here, which is also a pity a little bit. Uh, there is ordering, as I said, within the collection. Uh, here is uh, some filtering. You can, uh, here is custom fil filtering. So I thought it would order, but it, it doesn't. Uh, 
but you can uh, order it by first author you can order it by uh, how recent it is number of citations as you can see uh, then if you explore you can explore authors that occur in those selected papers you can select all the papers uh, but uh, or just some of them and then you can look at those authors and here you are jumping through those rabbit holes at, as they say and you can go as as long as you want then you just need to somehow uh, go back published works yes and you can you should be able to scroll back you can uh, add objects uh, sorry add papers uh, let's select myself so it's easier so let's say i would find myself somewhere here and i have published works here and i would select this and i could drag it somewhere to existing collections but first let's let's create collection let's take some of the papers and create a separate collection for that so uh, there was monument damage so let's say we will have category of cultural cultural heritage papers uh, so here is monument damage ontology and here is another one not sure if i can drag both of them yes so like this let's see if it works no only one okay <laughs> Uh, so I would go throughout the authors uh, maybe yeah, like this published works so this paper again I can put it like that knowledge base system this seems as well relevant Yes, so now I've created KBSS um, category, uh, collection, cultural heritage, and uh, there is also terminology management. Uh, I will delete this one because it doesn't make sense in this context. <laughs> uh, okay so this is the way how you organize papers within the collection uh, uh, also you can explore through similar work earlier work later work uh, but this doesn't work for uh, for two new papers or uh, papers that are not cited too much uh, so uh, here, cultural heritage, we have similar works, earlier works. Uh, but let's see, for example, core papers. I, I've created category UFO and core papers. And here you can see similar works, earlier works, later works. Uh, you can, let's, let's, uh, let's play with it a little bit. So we select all papers. Let's say we don't want something too specific, uh, but rather just generic general theory papers yeah but all of them are like that so let's say we don't want this paper so we have a, a more custom collection we can see similar works uh, and all the uh, th they are shown within the graph where uh, <clears throat> uh, the connection between papers uh, uh, are visualized uh, you can even show them in uh, timeline so you can see which which of them are latest and if you if you look at 
those nodes you can see which which one is citing uh, the other one which one is referencing other one uh, here you can switch between first and last author so here you can see gizardi and the other related papers uh, <laughs> then you can search for earlier works Uh, later works, authors, suggested authors. This is interesting as well. Linked content. So, for example, uh, this this was linked content for this for for UFO, which is nice. Onto ML. Uh, you can make collection public. You can share it, and you can have a group of people uh, collaborating on specific collections. I'm not sure about categories, but on the collections you can. Uh, then, yes, here you can set up email updates of new papers. Yeah, what else here? I guess that those are main features. If you have any idea if you see something interesting and i didn't mention it let me know now uh here is here is option to connect it to uh reference manager uh, zotero and then the synchronization is uh, done uh, two ways so if you add to zotero you'll see it here and opposite way around uh and i think that's it yeah here you can export references uh, to biptech uh, that's all that's all so so this was one of, one of those tools that i wanted to show And just to summarize, what I didn't like about it is uh, that I was not able to find some paper from Semantic Web Journal. Uh, it uses uh, Semantic Scholar, and uh, this is not that use not that useful to search th search through this uh it's uh, searching i i'm not sure if i showed uh, so here is at at paper here you can say <sighs> hmm. cannot see even some paper so uh, the the search is not that great uh, you can use uh, directly rather uh, semantics uh, semantic scholar or google scholar uh, and then add the paper here uh, Another issue is that it cannot uh, generate similar work from less known articles, as you could see. Uh, you cannot order papers within the collection, which to me it would be a nice feature as well. If you have, for example, collection as I, as I had, collection of UFO papers and those core papers, I would like to order them based on uh, which, which of them are most important to look uh then <clears throat> it does, does not support tax uh, this would be also a nice feature for me so you can you can uh, tag that some of the papers are under review some of them are good some, or whatever whatever system you would create uh only comments can be used but uh, yeah it's not that powerful so that's all about research rabbit and the other tool that I wanted to show is uh, chat PDF. 
uh, this is a service that provide that uh, allows you to summarize uh, uploaded papers from PDF and uh, to ask questions about them. So I uh, you can upload only two papers per day, but I think this is useful right now for us. It, it's it's enough to start and we'll see if it's useful enough uh, and we can use it, uh, use it more if, if it is. So uh, this is what it does. I upload a termit, uh, termit paper and uh, there is a summary. Uh, there are some example questions. So for example, what are main features of Termit? You can click and it will it will tell you uh, what web document community this multilingual support it will tell you <clears throat> I tell you those uh, the, the answer for the, the those uh, questions if you have some idea let's ask some question concrete question For what were the results of the user testing? Wait, oh, sorry. Go ahead. What were the results of the user testing? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, can you now compare it to the actual text? Because it looks as long as the text itself. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, uh, let me just scroll down in the... Oh, it's yeah. somewhere at the end of the paper. Maybe section six or whatever. Digital in impact, no. So it's not impact, so it's five, section five, I guess. Two comparison, user experience evaluation. Yeah, that's it. Can you see it? <laughs> oh, we would have to scroll in, but uh, it's... I don't know if, it, if it's a summary because it's it's not really much shorter than, than, the, than the text, but on well, the other hand... Uh, um, okay, so it could expand your paper. It could help you with writing papers this way. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> like, what, like, like you, you take your own paper and then you, you ask the question and it will make it bigger. Right? <laughs> That's what you mean? Yes, exactly. It's something like uh, when we are working on a paper and we get some reviews. So maybe it would be easier to uh, tell the AI to uh, do the uh, review. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, this is this is uh, possible. But the, this tool, there are a lot of tools to to help you improve and make make your paper bigger. But here you sh you're supposed to ask only from existing papers the questions and i'm not sure about references but it you, you see here is scroll to page 10 scroll to page 8 so everything is let's go to page okay so it was taken from this and here is something from 10 yeah so from from conclusion yeah so you can is uh, in very fast way you can you can uh, find it so it's it summarizes not even the section but uh, other sections that are related. So maybe, yeah, maybe you can you can uh, do this and uh, refine the paper in this way. So you would put it together those those results if they are meaningful. But <laughs> I'm not sure now if they are meaningful. So for example, what about this training and familiar familiarization? 
the testing ground is there for <laughs> well, was that in the paper that we were organizing training sessions which contributed to a growing community of contributors, really? If you click to the link, maybe it will tell you where it was from. Yeah. yeah, this is, yes. So it was from here and here. So section so 9 and 10. Okay, so let's let's look at nine training. Can you read it? Uh, can no. Okay, sorry. Aviation, here is several projects in aviation, healthcare industry. Okay. The testing involved, this is not true that, well, well, it could be true a little bit. But this is something that is like um, too, too, too strong uh, statement. So this is something that you could uh, you could somehow revise and maybe write it there in in the uh, in the output of the in the conclusion of the paper or something like that. I don't know. Let me see what what's what this explain. training session were organized yeah, we had to that's my biggest questions like really okay. did you write about organizing training sessions because i found uh, there is a uh, there is a mention of a growing community of contributors uh, with the digital technical map uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, i don't know about the training sessions okay training session okay tra training session were organized so i will uh, training session were organized. I can select this. Summarize, explain, rewrite. Mm, I, I guess this is not the way how to explain. So again, explain this to help become familiar explain uh, where's the to provide... this is just general information about what a trade yes is. yeah yes but but with links so you have two links this and oh it doesn't work anymore so eight so we are talking about training sessions here, something. Because we were doing that in SGOV, but I'm not sure if it's in paper. Like, sorry, in SGOV, um, in Kodi. Uh, we were doing training sessions, so we could write it somewhere here. Can you just run a search in the browser for, for, the, for the text if you search for session? Oh, that's not so easy. You have this paper somewhere? Let let me down let me download the paper. Oh. Use the third link, the semantic web. Oh, great. 
this one right here. Okay, session. Training session. Yeah, so here it is. Yep, okay. So I guess it yeah, is not... It took one short uh, sentence and it just expanded it to two paragraphs. That's good. That's what I would expect from an LLM. <laughs> okay, this is something that you could, I don't know, you could verify. This is good that you can verify here. You can ask the question and verify if it's true or not. Okay, so to me, it's it's good enough with the technology, the way it works. Yeah. I, I guess that's good idea to do. Yeah, I have the feeling from all of the AI, uh, like the language models, that uh, you ask a simple question and it answers it uh, really uh, complicated. Like it gives you long, long answers, uh, describing a lot of stuff uh, which are not uh, strictly related uh, to the question you asked. And maybe it's just uh, it thinks that if it gives you more information, uh, you can pick uh, whatever is important for you. Well, you can you can ask for less, <laughs> giving you different references. <laughs> yeah, you can always ask for less. Uh, Sure. Okay. This is something that uh, I will try to use, and um, maybe, maybe after a while, I can give you some evaluation of how it works. What are the issues? I, I just, I haven't tried it really. I just wanted to try it with you together. So, this is how I did it, uh, and uh, I'll test it and let you know. Okay. Uh, that's it uh, for today. Here are some references and uh, open questions. Uh, yes, for, for me, I did not find a way how to... Uh, I did not find a way uh, how to achieve completeness of search. But there are some other tools that I want to discover, and uh, it was har harder for me to trust suggestions. Uh, this is something as well that I want to explore. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any question, uh, let's discuss.